My name is Bruce Fools. I'm a associate director here in APCO. I'm also the head of the technology practice for Great China. ICT industry in China developed very, very fast, I think, over the past decades. And also very recently, and the China Chinese government tried to really promote this in the information communication technology because they want to use this IT you know, to promote consumptions. Meanwhile, also they decided to open this e-commerce industry for participation and also to promote cloud computing and big, in the big data industry to really help to improve this government efficiency and also to help business to make uh, informed decisions. So I think now foreign company and uh, um, face and more and more challenges. And in, in addition to this, uh, this market entry barrier, I think also foreign companies also face a lot of other issues, you know, such as and uh, cybersecurity. Recently, we learned a lot of security discussions, and also foreign companies really feel concerned about this all the Chinese security strategy and those actions that may present a new renewed market barrier to their business in China. But also there is IPR issues and how to protect your intellectual property, trademarks, and also your patents. There's a number of things Apple can do. And uh, uh, for instance, we can help them to understand this uh, complicated, you know, stakeholder landscape. We, have, we are helping them find uh, who are they and who can influence decision makers. So we are not only find the decision maker, but also find the, the decision, the ex, we call the consultant, you know, who can influence decision making process. We can also help, um, uh, Apple also can help and uh, uh, our clients to and uh, identify or even uh, form partnerships with the uh, right partner in the companies and uh, help them to facilitate the discussion, the collaborations and also even help them to develop a really uh, uh, tailored and we call the partnerships and the engagement and program or partner, uh, partnerships programs. We have a case I think last year and this and one a client, a client of us, you know, and coming to us to ask, and uh, if they can get this uh, uh, deal passed, transaction passed, approved by these regulators, because they, I guess it's interesting because they have this and uh, go ahead green line from their law firm. So this lawyer says you can go ahead because it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's legal. So basically, there's no problem. But however, this uh, the transaction they are doing they want to do is highly sensitive in China and especially relating to the te technology industry. So what they want to do is to use the law, to use the transaction to circumvent Chinese, you know, these uh, regulations. Even though it's legal on paper, however, we think it's impossible to be to get improved in practice. So this is what we and the APCO help them to and the, to help them and we reach out to expert and so regulators to understand their perception of this uh, this transaction, the potential transactions. Also, there's a perception of this and business and this company, but of, of course in an in anonymous way. And then we learn that they are really it's very difficult to get approved. Then we give our client as a really good and uh, advice on how do we want to proceed. So this is what APCO does. So we know who are they. Uh, who make decisions and also how the things go and uh, then we can reach out this and we have this capability and also resource and then to help our clients and then to understand this whole issues and the issue and the stakeholder landscape so we are helping to solve the problem so i think this is a, our main difference with law firm